Hello again and welcome to Paul Quest 3, Episode 2. When we last left our heroes, wait, when we last left our hero, singular, or so we think, no, as far as I know, there's just, there's just one hero. When we last left our hero, he was on this planet, which I believe is the butt planet. Uh, that may not be its formal name. Uh, in fact, I believe it is Planet Fleabud. I had just escaped from uh, a like a, a garbage barge, and now I am on this planet. Um, and in the meantime, I seem to be being chased by some sort of android that has a grudge against me. Possibly for something to do with the vending machine. I don't really remember. But I'm sure it's fine. Whatever it is. Let's see what we got going on here. Your ship is resting on a sandy spot between several large rocks. Looks like your automated landing system has done a remarkable job. Good job, automated landing system. You're the true hero. Um... Okay, okay. Good start to episode two. Got eaten by a snake. Uh. <clears throat> okay. So, um, I guess we don't go down. All right. That's good. That's good. Just getting warmed up on the whole space quest thing. It's good. It's important. It's nice. To just get a little reminder uh, of Space Quest vibes uh, each time. I'm going to try going north. Okay, we got sand dunes. It's different. Is this sand? I don't know, it's purple. That could be just a function of bad graphics, though. Hmm. This seems suspicious. <laughs> okay! This is what... <laughs> Congratulations on your recent death! Space, other games might have like invisible walls, you know, that thing where it's like, oh, you can't go out of bounds there. There's a mountain range or a bush or whatever. Space Quest doesn't do that. Space Quest is more about the uh, extremely visible walls or invisible walls that uh, become visible because it turns out it's a snake that eats you. Hmm. What do we got here? Several large rocks here. One is a large overhang, almost appears to be a cave. Under the overhang, pulsating pods. Um, wait. <laughs> okay. Pulsating pods. That's scary. I see there's like a crack in that rock there. I wonder if that's something. <laughs> Pod chow. Okay. So if I don't go under those. Just out of curious. Oh. Wait. Look. Pods. Look. Large pulsating pods. Look. At pulsating pods. Pulsating isn't in the dictionary. You just gave me that word. Look. Overhang. Look rock. 
The most interesting rock here has a large overhang. Look. Overhang rock. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's stay away from the pulsating pods of death. Reminds me a little bit of the uh, mushrooms of death from Space Quest 2. They have a, a good pedigree of death, shall we say. Death agree? Ooh. Venomous scorpizoid. Okay, doesn't kill me immediately. Run, 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 run. Okay. Gonna sneak by it here. Sneaky, 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 sneaky. Or should I say sneaky, sneaky, sneaky? Oh, jeez. It's a lot of scorpizoids. Where am I? Hmm. Oh, there I am. Hello. Don't mind me, Scopezoid. Just small in the background here. No reason to attack. Just, just chilling here. We can all be friends. What a desolate place this is, you think to yourself. What a desolate, desolate purple place. Doop, 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 doop. What the? Wait. Wait. What the? That was weird. Ah, no! Oh, yeah, Scorpozoid doesn't seem to be able to go through the borders of rooms. That's nice. Ah! Several large sand dunes and a few worn rocks. I like fell down that sand dune. Hmm. Good to know that that's slippery, I guess. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I was like, can I not get out of the sand dune hole? Okay. Walk around the sand dune. Let's go this way, I guess. Oh, hey, what's this? The desert north grows darker as storm clouds loom overhead. Don't want to go there. A gigantic model of a great beast with a door in its foot. Look sign. There are two signs here. Look sign. Look arrow sign. Look right sign. Yeah. Look, sign in front. Yeah, I know there are two signs. I want to look at this one. Look at door sign. <sighs> Look, beast. I feel like knowing what's written on these signs could be very important. Look. This is a real conundrum. 
How the hell do I look at that sign? Read sign. Oh. Flea butt from Mog's head. Entrance free. Sorry, temporary close for repair. Okay. I don't know why read is better than look, but you know what? We'll just go with it. Read sign. One of many large beasts that once ruled the vast desert. They all eventually died of boredom and are now extinct. Yay! It's a mog? Or a moogle, perhaps? All right, what's it? What the? World of Wonders? Hey, blobby dudes. Yo, come back now, you hear? Alien scum. Wait, did I say that out loud? the gust display case cute and cuddly little creatures small sign informs you that they are this is an antarian slime devil how cute world of wonders i'm gonna do something that in space quest games will almost certainly kill you Open case. Yep. Oh, the humanity. They may be cute, but only an idiot would go near one. Looks like you won't be around to appreciate another, the other diverse wonders of this guardian spot of the universe. Okay. I suspected that might have killed me. I'm on to you, game. Alright, what's in here? Death! Howdy, stranger! Name's Blatz, Fester Blatz. Welcome to the World of Wonders. Go ahead, have a look at some of the trendiest items of the known universe. Make the most of your vacation, Buckazoid. Do I have Buckazoids? Oh, rat on a stick for the kids who love. Hey, that's it uh, from uh, Space Ghost 1. The oh, rat. I killed one of those guys. Look. Cast off refuse of a dozen worlds, kings every available service of the store. You're astonished at the diversity. Even more astonished, someone would buy this stuff. Astro Dick and Flight Hat. Buy Flight Hat. Everything here costs 25 bucks a and you don't have that much. So what do I, I have got this. Mini Co. Uh, the Orium in your pocket. Ooh. So, blowing gem. Check it out! Oh my my, that's one fine hunk of or 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 No. 400 bugzoids, what do you say? Wait. I say save? No, can't save. Uh, no. 425, what do you say? 425. No. Hey, can't go any higher. Maybe some other time. Wait. 
Show glowing gem. Of course, the old mouth is a little slow today. 100 buckazoids! The blurst. No. I see. Screw this. Wait, let's fake the cap. Let's try this again. The old save scum bargaining. Show glowing gem. I want my money. Mini buckazoids. Bye, Orat. On stick. Everything is twenty-five bucks. Might as well buy everything. I got an Orat on a stick. Just look at how cute this little guy is. What else you got? What else you got? Buy hat. Yes, Astro Chicken Flight Hat. Hey, that got me a score. I just wanted a chicken hat. Didn't know it actually had a purpose. Even better. What else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Thirty more wave. Thermal wave underwear. Yes. Buy underwear. Nice pair of thermal wave underwear. Keep your internal environment pleasant, even on the sweatiest of worlds. Man, I wish that really existed. <sighs> Can you show me more stuff? Take your time now, you're here. Don't feel pressure to buy anything. I will literally buy anything you show me. Just so you know. Wait, no. Bargaining. Uh. Arrakis! Hey, <laughs> read back. A great spot for winter travel. Arrakis holds many delights for the adventurous vacation. Nothing to compare with the blinding dust storm being crushed by a sandworm. Buy postcard. Oh. That's so sad. Look. Skull. Shelves are arrayed with fine examples of natural wonders. Also worthless junk that can only be found in a tourist establishment. Buy skull. Oh. Come on. I want to buy things. Consume! Buy gem. Buy robot. Buy jar. Look, jar. Fine. I only had three things that I could buy. It's the blurst. Exit? Wait. Oh, okay, yes. Whoa! Um. Hey, friend. So, this is Roger Wuko, the man I have been sent across the universe to track down and terminate. I am not impressed. You are easy to find. You tend to leave a mess wherever you go. It seems you forgot to pay for that Lebetonian terror beast mating call whistle. Whoa, what? 
Now let's see, with interest that comes to 400,000 buckazoids, I don't think you've got that kind of cash on you. No, I didn't think so. Good thing the people at Gepazoid Novelty Co. are the are most displeased. Non-payment is a serious offense. I was under the impression that was free. Lucky for you, my good mood today. I will count to ten real slow and then track you down. If you make it to your ship, I forget I see you. But if I catch you again, I dust you like bunt cake. Hang on a second. That was supposed to be a free whistle. Let's go back and look at the tape. Wait, I have a thing. This is an order form you removed from a magazine for a free Labion Terror Beast mating whistle. It's ready to be mailed. Seems... weirdly advantageous. Yeah, free Labion Terror Beast mating whistle. It says right there. Ah, it's like you can't trust novelty companies anymore. Oh, and he's invisible. Um... Run! Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that's what that thing looks like. Run, 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 run. Get the lead out, Roger. You aren't going very fast, Roger. Run. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shit, that's... Oh, dear. Ah, 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 ah. Am I running? I don't know if I'm running or not. Hey, wait, I'm almost on my ship. This is if I get to my ship, I'm safe, right? Ah! Ah, ah. Oh, the humanity. I got all twisted. It's not good for my back. Okay, so. He kills me. Did I get anything? Astro chicken flight helmet? Not gonna help. A rat on a stick? Probably... Not helpful. I don't think it's like if it was a full size O rat, I'd be in business. A rat on a stick, probably not helpful. Um, whatever. What else did I get? Or oh, underwear, probably not helpful. Oh crap! Wait, look here. Wow, he is right on my ass. Wait. Elevator. Elevator buttons so side of the elevator. Push button. Ha ha, sucker! That's right. Now I'm on an elevator. What are you going to do about it? You are within the cavernous interior of the Mog's belly. A elevator shaft leads down and stairs run between the first and second level platforms. The heavy equipment necessary to automate Mog can be seen on the upper level. Heavy but surprisingly quiet equipment. Look, gears? 
It appears the gears provide power linkage for the machinery moving Mog's arms and jaw. Rawr. Seems they haven't heard of OSHA here on. There isn't even a guardrail around them. Sure wouldn't want to fall in there. <sighs> hint, hint, hint. Okay. Hint one. Don't walk in there. Oh crap. Can I like... I see you, Wilco! Um... Look... Rope? Ah, there are two rope pulleys near the motor and gears. Apparently they are used for maintenance of the equipment. Looking up, you notice they are mounted on tracks running on the length second floor platform. Maybe I can like swing on it and like... Can I like... Swing and kick them or something? Wait. Push. Use rope. Uh, use rope. Oh crap. Uh, swing rope. What? The, the friggle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Run, run, Roger. Oh, wait. He he was you you were really there. Okay. Ow. Oh, you didn't. Oh. All right. That was a warning, twisting your body into a uh, Twizzler. Next time, you won't be so lucky. Okay, I feel like I had the right idea there. I'm trying to remember, like, like I, you know, as I have said, I have played this before, and I remember this guy. And I remember something about there being, I think there's like multiple ways of taking him out. So this might not be the only way. But I think this will work if I'm closer to the thing. The fact that it said, oh, too late, um, indicates that I seem to be on the right track. Something to do with the O-Rat on a stick. I don't know why. I For some reason I'm remembering something to do with the O-Rat on a stick. Okay. I'm nice nice and close to it. Swing rope. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! Hey Arnold the Annihilator, you just got annihilated. Android. Pile of junk. Ooh, invisibility belt. Get belt. Yoink! Okay. With it. Um. 
Hi. Hey, what's going on here? Didn't you read the sign saying we're closed for repairs? Oh, he was just bringing the thing back up, I guess. Let's see what he's got to say. All right. Yay for me. But. What was it? Look. Oh, rat. Oh, rat on a stick. It can open its mouth. It closes its mouth. That was a fun for all. There's something. There's mul I know that there's multiple ways of taking out the android. I want to try again, but a different way. So I have 228 points right now. I wonder if I would get more points if I took them out in a different way. It's an interesting idea. Also, look, it's set up by the World of Wonders sign. Look. All right, okay, I'm just going to... so I know how to do that. That's pretty pretty straightforward. I'm gonna reload Let's try something I have a plan so devious that it's Okay, well, it's just, it's, it's really devious It's a plan more devious than five extremely devious plans put together it involves me hiding behind a rock. I know you're, what you're thinking. You're thinking, how did you possibly come up with this plan? Seeing as how hiding behind a rock has been an integral part of the last two games. Okay. What, ooh. Can I get him? Nope. Nope, that didn't work. That did not work. Ah! Shaking a baby now. Do the twist. Okay. Uh, let's try this one more time. In principle, I think I had the right idea there. Um, I was only... Um, the problem I had was that I was caught by the android and twisted into a ribbon. Other than that very minor issue, I feel like I was doing pretty good. Whoop! That was different. Oh, geez. Okay. Let's try that again. I don't think he is counting to five. You always enter the center of the thing, don't you? If I can use that to my advantage. If I go this way from here. Whoa, geez. Oh no, yes. I was like, oh no, there's footprints right behind me. Wait, those are my footprints. No, they weren't. He seems to have specific spots that he starts at. Okay. Let's try this again. Okay. 
Read sign. Nope, no time. No time to read the sign. See if he comes in from the left-hand side here. Nope, well, sort of. Run, 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 run. Get the lead out, Roger. Feel like you don't have sufficient urgency here, Roger. Where am I? Oop, there I am. Huh, has he lost me? Interesting. I can see the footprints. If I go past here and come around the other side. Like what I want to do is get so that those whatever pustule pod thing doodles are between me and him so that he has to go under it in order to get through okay now I can't just go to my ship because then he just strangles me but if I go back this way nope One more time. The more I'm doing this, the more I'm remembering doing this. I swear there's a thing here. Clearly the other way is an easier way of doing it. But when have we always, when have we gone for the easy way? Never. Even when the easy way seemed extremely obvious and there was no reason for us to do it the hard way. We did it the hard way. Why? Because, well, we didn't know any better. But, also, because it was there. Nope. Oh, now he's strangling me. We will do this, not because it is easy, but because it is hard. Might as well have been talking about um, Space Quest. Okay, let's try it from this angle. In fact, wait, no, not restore. I'm gonna put a save in here. Lure. How did he get in? front of me okay we got wedged in the wall there let's try this one more time maybe already dead here run 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 roger run roger run roger run roger nope maybe i just <laughs> I can do this! Nope, now it just eats me. Uh, are we making progress? What if I go straight up from there? Nope, you just got me there. It's very annoying that... Just push the number of the one I want, or even use arrows. But no. Okay.
And here. Oh, come on. I should have got him. I gotta put like... Maybe I gotta put something delicious on him or else I won't we'll try to eat him. Alright. Nope. Try day. Try using the mouse. Diagonals, yo. What are you gonna do about it now? What? It's gonna kill me, that's what he's gonna do. I knew I could do that. Look. Pile of sand under the pustules. Looking closely. Okay. And now, this is... Aha! Use a rat on Android. Aha! Uh -huh. See, if I had gone to just try and pick it up, the pus things would have eaten me. Or pod things. Okay! 238. Is that a better score than I had before? I think it might be. So, let's recap. Got an, look at my inventory here. Got an O-Rat on a stick, got fancy underwear, got a flight hat, got bug sides, got an invisibility belt. I feel like that's probably all there is here. And now I'm going to save. Victory! Okay. I wonder if I could take his ship. What is his ship doing? I'm going to actually look this way. I wonder what's this way. This looks familiar. Okay. Forget that. Let's take off! To infinity! And that's just go, yeah, just to infinity, then stop. Sit. Look. Panel. Look, nav. Use panel. Look panel. Oh. Look, computer. There we go. All right, radar still on. That's good. Okay, engines. Take off. Take off, eh? Uh, navigation. I like that the navigation system has its own theme song. Uh, Alright, that's flea butt. We don't need any flea butt anymore. Resume scan. Flea butt is a butt. We don't need it anymore. Monolith burger. Let's do it. Set course for Monolith Burger. After beating up that android, we deserve a burger. Light speed!
requesting messaging monitor. Ooh. Approaching monolith burger. Ah. Hey. That is a ship I recognize. Bye, Enterprise. Monolith Burger. Why, thank you. Pop the hatch and ramble on in. Hello. Look. The decor, like the food, is the same in all Monolith Burgers all over the universe. Generic counter clerks are eagerly waiting to help you. Diverse life forms are crowded around the counter and sitting on booths consuming what can only be lo loosely termed food. Now, in Space Quest 2, eating a hamburger from here killed me. Without much interest. After all, you're a spacefaring kind of guy. Welcome to Monolith Burger. Oh, hey. I hear you're the employee of the week. Um. Order? Mini Monolith. Monolith. Big Belcher combo. Mondo Mondo with poly cheese, space buds, extra grease, and a sloppy slurper. Monolith Fun Meal, Space Buds, uh, I will get, um, a Monolith Fun Meal. Oh, I have more than one thing, and a Big Belcher Combo. So it's a monolith fun meal, and then jumbo mono with poly cheese, space buds, extra grease, and a sloppy slurper. It's got to be everything I want. Ooh, wait. A filet o rat. Filet o o rat. Okay. Uh, just in case I'm still hungry, I will also get a mini monolith. You know, for going on with. Uh, didn't I? You know what? I'll get a second drink. Oh, wait. Everything is yes. Yes! Black fruit pie. Pushy counter clerk. This is why. This is why he is the number one employee of the month. Free drink with every purchase. Wait. It's a second drink now. I've got like 13 drinks coming. 19 buckazoids. Psh, that's nothing. Big spender like me. Hey. Have a nice day. Greasily pick up the ginger bag. Wait, you greasily pick up the ginger bag. <laughs> I can read you gingerly pick up the greasy bag. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Uh, wait. Before I eat, burger. Look, meal. Chalk full of gastric delights. Um, eat meal. <gasps> I hope I don't die. Okay, okay, not dead. So far, so good. What's well, my burger? It must be my fun meal prize. Ooh, a decoder ring. 
Very tasty. Well, mildly tasty. Well, not tasty at all. In fact, reminds you of the slick skin of a Vorlelian mucus worm. Vor... Vorlelian mucus worm. Mr. Employee of the Week clean it up. Fair enough. Sweet. Look. Decoder ring. Decode any secret message. Ooh. Start the save. Decoder ring. Okay. going to be another game of troll tower whatever I hope not <gasps> Astro chicken wait to wear the astro look these babes will dig you in this wear astro chicken hat no Left arrow, move left. Left down arrow, up arrow, toggle flapping. Feed. If you land fast, you find you'll bounce. Land outside the pen. If you fly too high, you'll bounce out of the atmosphere and plummet. Insert buck. Whoa! Okay. Okay. This game is tricky. Try it again. Yes. We got an extra life there. Buckhawk! No! No? Buckhawk! I am the master of this game. Oh, he said, failing. Don't worry, Astro Chicken. I'll get you home. Or maybe not. No. So much bouncing. Oh. Out of feed. Oh dear. I was doing so well, too. Barcock! Really? 
Electric chicken is very sensitive. There you go. What happens if I get five chickens? Oh man, look at that. Wait. Oh, what? I have to do it myself? Ah, crap. Wait. Hang on a second. Um, if like go back and figure that out. All right, one sec. I'm gonna go back. Wait. Quickly go back and look at that recording and check what the message is. It's so annoying that it doesn't decode it for you. All right, one second. Okay, I'm back. And so the message says, help us. We are being held captive by Scumsoft on the small moon of Pestulon. An impenetrable fortress surrounds the moon. It must first be deactivated. Its origin is unknown to us. Scumsoft security is armed with jello pistols. Not sure what relevance that is. Uh, we're counting on you, whoever you are. Two guys in trouble. Okay. That is a thing. It's good, actually, up in, I guess I've got something to do now. Up until now, there has actually haven't had like a goal, right? I've just been kind of like, I was escaping from the garbage place, and then I was just like, all right, well, now where do I go? We're gonna get this better ship. Probably is good. Ah! He's gone now, right? Oh, nope, nope, not gone, not gone, not gone. Oh. <laughs> Don't trust guys in black spacesuits. I mean, to be fair, I was kind of trying to steal his ship. So it's hard to blame him too much. Uh, all right, is there anything else to do here? It seems to be just this one here. Can I go around behind, maybe? Oh, oh that just takes me out here. make the spell. Oh, but there's a guy in the space who would oh, forget it. Maybe. I'm interested in this here. Look. Garbage. So, 
small moon, the small moon of Pestilon. Wait, is that the small moon known as Pestilon? Pestilon? Or the small moon of the planet Pestilon? Because that makes a big difference. If I was writing a secret help message, I would be really uh, precise about directions. Oh, <laughs> so sick. Man, that Big Belcher combo was a little too much for your delicate digestive tract. Feel better now except for being hungry again. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Talking beams begin to guide you safely clear of Monolith Burger. So long, Monolith Burger. I left a lot of myself there. Mostly my stomach parts. Use computer. Engines. Is there a place called Pestilon on the grid here? Planet Ortega, volcanic crater strewn surface. Flea Butt, also known as the Butt Planet. So there's just those three places in all the universe. Oh, Ortega it is. Inhabitants unknown, volcanic, crater-strewn surface. Light speed! Commence light speed! Light speed rescue! It's a power ring, this thing, isn't it? <laughs> Man, going through warp is exhausting. Orbiting the planet Ortega. Land! Land ho! Oh hey, no robots came to kill me. The mighty whomp. Set the aluminum mallard down on the surface of Ortega. And with that, I believe this will be the end of this episode of Paul Quest 3. What awaits our hero on the planet Ortega? Is it, um, or, or, orts? Probably not. I don't think that's a thing. But it could be, and it could be on this planet of Ortega. Then again, Flea Butt didn't really have any butts on it. So, yeah, we'll see. Anyway, stay tuned for Pulquest 3, Episode 3.